Whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. Enforcement agencies, one of the most dangerous criminals is the unpredictable armed beginner. Because he is always nervous, often frightened, his comparatively minor crimes frequently explode into crimes of major violence. Such an explosion occurred six weeks ago when Joe Tully, with his wife Gloria, attempted what appeared to be a simple holdup of a service station. Come on, let's get out of here! Highway Patrol, Sergeant Williams. Oh, where, Mr. Larkin? I see. And when was that? Now, just now. A young guy wearing a brown suit. He had a girl with him. They got away in a, in a blue four-door sedan. Did you get the license number? All right, Mr. Larkin, if you wait there, an officer will be right out. Thank you. What's going on? The owner of a filling station two miles out of Woodhaven was just shot. Robbery? Yeah, a man and a woman. Here's the descriptions. How's it stand now? Well, the station's right here. I'm ordering roadblocks here, here, and here. Well, we'll plug the gaps on the way out. Get out and APB. We'll be in touch with you. to shoot him, Joe. I had to. I told you it was either him or me. What if he's dead? Will you stop it? The worst part about it is that I was seeing. The guy that I bumped into got a real good look at me. And at the car. What are we going to do? I don't know. I got to think. I knew him pretty well, Mr. Matthews. He'd never let anybody push him around. Yeah, I know the morgue's full of that type. You say a girl was driving? I just got a glimpse. She looked about, oh, 22, blonde hair and a yellow sweater. You think you know for sure what you saw in the car? Oh, absolutely. That gunman looked right at me when he bumped into me. Did you get any part of the license number? No, sir. Let's go over the car again. You're sure it was a blue sedan? Is there anything else you can remember? Well, yeah. They had a little cup, a little gold cup, like you win in a golf tournament, hanging on the rear view mirror. It was about so big. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know the kind you mean. All right, thanks, Mr. Larkin. We'll be in touch with you. Yes, sir. Find anything? Nothing. No footprints or tire prints back there. All right, Ken, let's go. I want to get the newspapers on the air right away. OK, stand by for the corner. Call when he gets here. All right. I thought I heard a siren. We were lucky to get back here, you know. That's why I picked places close to town, like the gas station. It's not going to help much this time. You don't think they're going to come here? They're going to be looking for the car. It's the only way they can identify us. They're not going to quit. If they don't find it in the streets, they're going to search this whole area house by house. And that lousy garage door won't even close. Joe, they don't know my car. Let's get out of here. I'll be hunted for the rest of our lives. All they have to do is find the car. 
and then they'll find us. Um, how far are we going to get on a hundred bucks? Only chance is to get rid of the car, then we're in the clear. Well, they got the license number. If they had, they would have been here before now. Think straight, huh? <sighs> Frank. How about Frank? Oh, he wouldn't help us, Joe. He's too honest anyway. Can we burn the car? Can we soak it in gas and burn it? No. For the same reason that we can't sell it or paint it or dump it in a lake someplace. If one person saw the car and got suspicious, they'd trace us down by the serial numbers. But you said that a welder could lift those numbers right off. Oh, off the motor, off the motor. There's others hidden inside that only the cops in the factory know about. But look, if it works for the stolen car, why won't it work here? Gloria, this is no handy handy car heist. If that guy dies, we both end up in the death house. Frank. I keep coming back to Frank. With that big press of his, it'd be so simple. Once that thing gets through with the car, then there'd be nothing left to trace. Is there any chance that he'd help us, Joe? He's my own brother. But... Well, at least he won't turn us into the cops for asking. Try it, Joe. Call him. No. No, I could talk him into it a lot better face to face. Change clothes. Now run down to Colby and I'll see him. Take your car. But if he says, okay, how are you going to get your car past the roadblocks? You'll have to bring it. Me? Alone? Now wait. Here's how we'll work it. Now we both got street maps in the cars. On the way down, I'll walk every roadblock, and every back road that's clear. Then I'll call you. And I mark it on mine. Right, it'll be a cinch. You know exactly where you're going before you leave. Okay. It's gonna be risky. But we got no choice. Get the street maps. Okay. Call 4018. Tell him to go to Evansville Junction. Let me know when he's in position. I've got the descriptions on the newscast. Somebody else spot him. These characters are smart. They figure the car's our only lead. Well, if we find it, we can identify him. If we don't, we're in the soup. You know, they may figure we didn't get that license number. That gives them plenty of time. They can stall. They can order the car and get a paint job. Well, we're covering all the body and paint shops. The only two lakes they can dump in are both reservoirs, and they're being watched. Yeah, and the used car lots and the wrecking yards, they're being watched, too. What's that leave us? Uh, not much. You know, I still think if I were in their spot, I'd try a quick paint job. That's the easy way. I don't know. They're hot. Paint job would cost a lot of money. Yeah, well, the guy could rent a spray gun and try to do the job himself. That could be. Let's check it. See your identification, please. Okay.
What are you doing here? You'll have to get your hands dirty. That's a heck of a way to talk to your own kid brother after two long years. What do you want, Joe? Advice. Can we go inside? Hey, the press is really great, Frank. How long does it take you to give a car the full treatment? Two or three minutes to run through the press. What do you want to talk about, Joe? How long does it take you to strip it down, you know, before you stick it in the press? Two or three hours. Hey, 50 bucks says that you can't do it anywhere near that time, Frank. Play games with your flashy friends, Joe. What do you want to talk about? Wait a minute, Frank. Now, look, I'm serious. It's about getting into the car, I mean. What car? Just a car. It's mine. What color is it? <laughs> well, what difference does that make, Frank? Answer me. Is it a blue four-door? How'd you find out? The cops were here. Look for a blue four-door, they said. It belongs to a guy who held up a filling station and shot the owner. That was you, Joe. I didn't mean to do it, Frank. Honest, I didn't. You've been saying that all your life, Joey. Sorry. Look, don't lecture me, Frank, please. Learn my lesson, believe me. Frank, you please help me. Just one more time. If the cops don't find that car, they'll come back. Not for a while, Frank. And by that time, there's not going to be anything left. You still got an awful chance. Frankie, nobody's ever going to know. Please, Frank, if that guy dies, they're going to kill me. It's already dead. <laughs> Matthews and men of the highway patrol combed the blocked off area for any sign of the car that would identify the killer, Joe Tully already was successfully implementing his plan for the car's complete obliteration. Hello? Joe? It's okay, Gloria. Frank says he'll do it. Now look, the first roadblock is on the boulevard. It's between Walcott and Bayside. Get on Clooney Road, and you got it made. There's no roadblocks here. Now go as fast as you can. Yeah. Well, if that blue sedan's in this area, it's liable to stay the same color anyway. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, we've got roadblocks on all the roads and highways leading out of town. I got a feeling they're still around in here someplace. Well, they won't try to sit tight. Won't hurt to squeeze them a little bit. Let's start closing in the roadblocks. How about this uh, south side? That's a hash of back trails. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's go over to Clooney Road. 2150 to headquarters. As the highway patrol continued its relentless search, Gloria Tully was at the moment carefully working her way through the maze of roadblocks in her desperate effort to reach her husband, Joe.
How's it going? Nothing so far. How's Clooney Road? It's open. Get over there right away. Yes, sir. Come on, Ken. Let's get back. the riskier this gets. She'll be here, Frank. Cops have got roadblocks up. Look, she's just being careful. So what happens if she gets stopped? She won't be. Yeah? Listen, I'd gamble everything I got on you, Joey. I don't like having to depend on Gloria this way. Frank, she's here. What took you so long? I had an awful time, Joey. You weren't just... following, were you? No. Come on, Joe. Come on. Let's get this out of sight. Back there where we can work on it. Give me those reports you're not working on. Thanks. Ken, how many units checking these? Uh, three, but more calls are coming in as more people get the news. You get that, will you? Highway Patrol, Sergeant Williams. Oh, yes, ma'am? When was that? Oh, I see. Thanks very much. This looks like the one, but there's a big hitch. She spotted the car almost an hour ago. Just about hit her when she crossed the street. What was she waiting for, Rain? No, she just heard a newscast. It was over on Maple Avenue. Maple Avenue. Yeah, that's on the south side. Everything seems to tally except the color of the coat the girl was wearing. That figures. Well, she must have taken a back road in there someplace. That must have been about the time we were there. Let's take it from the top. Suppose she got by us. Well, she'd have to come out, well, either here or over here. That'd mean the roadblocks either Evansville or Paxson would catch her. Well, that's a little more than 50 miles. She'd hit one of them by now. What's in between that? Well, not much with farmland. There's some heavy industry at Colby. And there's some auto wreckers along that highway. Yeah, the big wreckers, too. If they ever get that car into a press, we'll never find it. Yeah, we've warned all those auto wreckers. You think you would take a chance? Well, money talks. Let's check those yards again. Here, have Dennis meet us. Why's Gloria still here? Waiting for me? Get her out of here. We got enough trouble on our hands. Are you finished? Not quite. Frank's got a bad case of the jitters. Well, look, so have I. Okay, but Frank is nervous because of you being here. Look, why don't you hop in your car and go someplace else for now, huh? Oh, no, Joe, I don't want to be alone anymore. Come with me, please. No, I'm going to stay right here until I see my car go through that press. After that, Frank could break a leg for all I care, but until then, I'm going to stay here and baby him. So get going. Get going! While two desperate people raced against the pressure of time, the highway patrol, anticipating the criminal's need to destroy the car, set out to once again search and comb each and every auto wrecker in the area, looking for any clue to a blue four-door sedan. Huh? No car? No registration slip. Yeah. Okay, Joe. Now I'm going to give you some advice. Oh, skip it, Frank. I took a big chance to help you because I... Cops, get out! Check them. Come here. 
Take a look at this. Hey, Mac, come here. What does this one look like before it hit the press? How would I know? I do a hundred of these a day. I, I can't keep track of all these old heaps. What are you looking for? The officers that were here before told you what we're looking for. You being cute? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, what's this doing here? How would I know? Why were you in such a particular hurry to get rid of this one? Well, I wasn't. Why should I be? Try to get it out of sight. Well, don't be ridiculous. Well, if you know and I know that two hours ago this was a brand new car. Who's the owner? I don't have any idea. Who hired you? Nobody. Mac, we're looking for a killer. You're in deep. Don't get in any deeper. I'm going to give you a choice. You can tell me here at headquarters. Who's the owner and where is he? Right behind you. Now move. The hand off the gun. Get it off. When he moves, I'll blow you in two. Those for you too, Frank. All right. Real slow now. Drop the guns. Take the wires out of the car and bust the radio. And turn our car around so we can get out of here fast. Go on! All right. Back off. had that coming for years. Where you're going, you'll have plenty of time to explain that to him. Highway Patrol next week. Until then, remember, leave your blood at the Red Cross or your community blood bank, not on the highway. This is Roderick Crawford saying, see you next week.